Welcome back, Grangers. Got a lot of comments on last week's show. A lot of people seem to like big brands getting kicked. So this week, more of the same. Right, following on from last week, I brought you this show about Woolworths and how they were buying links, or their agency at least, was buying links from sites that have got free SEO from another company, and then they put random pages on their sites to get backlinks to their sites. And so this week, I thought I'd show you what we do to find out if your site is getting bad backlinks, because essentially that's what these are now with the latest Google changes. And we've had a lot of comments from people this week. And hi to Darren, sorry to hear about your loss, which is the loss of your site in the index. And we've had people say to us, look, I resorted to buying cheap backlinks because I couldn't get ranked high enough. You know, what was my alternative? Well, the alternative is always about spending more time engaging with your audience and trying to get people to give you backlinks and talk about you based on your contributions in the community. The tool that we use, because we did get questions about, how do I check? Well, one of the tools that we use is Majestic SEO. It is a paid tool. The other one you can use is possibly something like opensiteexplorer.org. This is a paid tool that we use, and it will tell you who links to you. Uh, I've put in everydaymoney.com.au. That's the site we talked about last week, the Woolworth site that had paid for backlinks. And we thought we'd go, well, what other backlinks? Well, there's some there that you would expect, like, you know, other Woolworth sites, um, you know, um, everyday mobile sites, a jazz music. Okay, we need to look at that one. And the site that's linking to Woolworth's Everyday Money Card is Jazz Assassins and an article, How to Make Money as a Jazz Band. And once again, we're seeing the same modus operandi of the massage site that we looked at last week. Lots of irrelevant links when you talk about jazz bands. We're linking out to, and you know, the, the one common theme here is, is that they've, they've put money in the main heading on the page, and it's in the page title. So they're trying to make this link between the outbound links are all about money, and they've got money in the page title and in the heading of the site. And this is how I know that these are set up as paid links, is that last November, November 2011, we had a call from a company, this company, who is doing this linking, and here's what they had to say about their links. So, so, so. What I would say, uh, Jim, is I think, you know, the way we actually build these links, you know, that it's very, very random, and, um, you know, there's, it, it, it's incredibly difficult for Google to detect. It's not part of a link ring or anything, you know, these are random sites. Yeah, random, very hard to detect. And it's all about, it seems for some of these SEO companies, about tricking Google. Now, if you go and have a look at here, it's like, well, who else is on this site? Who else is, is paying for this nonsense? Well, look, there's GE Money. They're quite big. Uh, who else? What other big brands have we got here? Anyone else? Well, there's that everyday money we, that we had. And look, suncorp.com.au. Now, if you, in case you don't know who Suncorp is, they are a large financial brand in Australia, I think some of you would admit. And the phrase that they're obviously trying to rank for here is life insurance. Now, if we go and Google life insurance, and I've got my browser results set here to 100 results per page, so we can just scroll down. And I've typed in life insurance, and you can scroll down here for ages. I don't even know. We're, up, we're probably above 50 before we even get a look. Oh, it's getting close to 100, actually. Before we even see the site of Suncorp come up in any way, I'm still looking for it, uh, any way, shape, or form. I know it's there. It's there somewhere. It's in the top 100. But that link is not helping them to get anywhere where they want to be, which, is, of course, is on the front page. Now, these phrases are worth millions to these companies getting ranked number one for them. And because they have to spend millions on AdWords is the other, only other alternative. When, once again, we go and have a look at the Suncorp site and try to work out, well, have they done enough to rank? The first thing, of course, we do is type in site, colon, suncorp.com.au, find out how many pages they've got. Well, they've got 1,600 pages. And you can see someone's had a red hot go. Wherever you see pipes in the page title here, we can, and you can see the URL here that they've, they've worked. They've got insurance in the URL. They've got home content insurance in the URL. And, but they, and they've got platinum, but they haven't 
They haven't done the simple thing of the consistency of bringing in the page title and matching it to the URL. They've tried to be a little bit clever and cute about it, so it hasn't happened. Now, when you go and look at who, well, I tried to find out who's, the, who's doing digital marketing for Suncorp that they would recommend this strategy of buying links out on these sites like this. And, you know, we found out who the digital marketing managers were at Suncorp, but I couldn't find out who the agency that they were employing to make these decisions on their behalf. But, you know, so we've seen some problems there. Also, if you go and have a look at the actual link, the actual link structure within suncorp.com.au itself, you can find that we've got about 20 broken links within the site itself, a bunch of which are pointing at life insurance relevant pages. And these are on Suncorp pages themselves. So you're giving this, once again, this noise ball to Google, admittedly, life insurance, is really hard to rank for. But I'm not seeing here anything about, you know, life insurance news, uh, life insurance uh, updates, ways to get backlinks legitimately without paying for nonsense like this. And if you, if this is not an isolated incident. This is eastlondoncleaning.co.uk. And there, of course, they've got advantages of using a low limit credit card because who else do you trust to talk about that sort of stuff, not a cleaning company. And guess who they're linking to? They're linking to Woolworths. And if we go and have a look at this one over here, uh, we've got cakeboxes2u.co.uk. Tips on financing your wedding. Seeing a pattern here? Who are the links we've got? Well, we've got you know UK Life Cover. We've got uh, bizcover.com.au. We've got, uh, oh, we've got GE money we've got uh, a lot of uk companies because as you heard from that guy's accent on that video it is a uk company doing this but once again all of these sites are going to start to disappear from the index they will have like the emails that we got this week they will have emails uh in their webmaster tools when i say the emails we got this week i mean the emails from our viewers that we got this week telling us that they've been booting from the index we're not getting any of these emails in our Google Webmaster Tools because we don't do this to our clients. This idea of tricking and trying to fool Google is a short-term strategy. If you consider that you know two years is possibly a short-term strategy with Google, Google is always going to find out, and it keeps doing it time after time, and we see it time after time. So this, this guy that you heard on the, on the recording earlier trying to trick Google... It's not what it's about. It's about long-term strategies. I'm not adverse to tricking Google if that's what you want to do, but remember, it is a short-term strategy. So there are hundreds and hundreds of these sites out there, and really, go and check your backlinks. Get an account at Majestic. We'll do it for you. If you want us to have a look, if you're a big brand and you haven't got time and you're worried about what your agency is telling you, I'll give you the first hour free just to protect your brand and make sure that you... You know, aren't on sites like cakeboxes2u.co.uk. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.